so when you walk into uh, the Caragills and the title wall, you'll see her uh, a dark figure sitting there, but she's an aeronaut, and she's basically deciding what shoes to wear and what to go outside and kick ass for the day. The two pieces that I do have in here in Killer Hills are based on a, a movie script that I've written, and it's all telling the story of the 1680 Pebble Revolt. And it tells a story not only when it happened in 1680, but also simultaneously happening at 2180. So it allows me to bring in a lot of the sci-fi characters and like real more animated fun stuff that will catch the attention of, of the children and just kind of get them interested and excited about our history because the public vote has been basically swept under the carpet and I really feel, I mean it's not taught in schools, it's not taught in history books or anything. A lot hasn't been written about it, so I just feel that I want to kind of uh, tell that story and devote my life to tell the story of the Pebble Revolt and all the different mediums that I work in, whether it be fashion, uh, ceramics, uh, video, paintings, uh, clay, um, jewelry, everything all together, but I use all the mediums to tell that story. Yeah, these two characters, they're, they're called aeronauts, and the aeronauts are the are characters from my movie script, and what they are are or pilots of the survivorship armada so they bring the translator army the spirit world army to earth's realm to help Fa'u and Pope pull off the Pope revolt so what you see here is um, me reaching out to the kids just to really give them kind of superhero characters to relate to and you know really compete with what's out there in the world today Growing up in Cote de Pueblo, I was, I grew up in a family of potters. So um, basically every day I seen our mother and our sister's uh, our grandmother making pottery and I had no idea it was artwork because um, it was just done every day. I thought everybody did it, but um, that's how I started uh, my art career. I was in clay and then I expanded into fashion and jewelry and video photography. And I put those all together using all the mediums to really tell the story of the Pueblo Revolt.